Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the coffee mug tutorials. Um, we're gonna keep going on Business Central. Yay. As you can see, we are locked in here in Business Central. Uh, for those who are new to Business Central, Business Central is pretty much NAV. It's in the cloud, so it has all the same features, functionalities, just looks a lot better and has a lot of new features that are really cool. <laughs> so um, I'm here in the item list, as you can see, very nice with pictures and all that. Uh, and here on the right hand side, I have something called Power BI reports, right? So this is hooked up to Power BI. Uh, and it's giving me a report, as you can see. Um, and if I actually move to a different item, like right here, uh, this is updating. So it's like a fact box there on the side and gives me uh, statistics on, on the item. And I can go here and see like this. I can see what was sold, what was bought, see the uh, chart here and all that. But this, we can change, we can create our own stuff here. Okay, this is Power BI, we can do a lot of things. Um, you know, I can uh, let's see, show by month, actually, this is already show by month. Um, I can show the data, let's do that. There's the data, uh, etc. But it's, it's a little uh, app or Power BI window that's uh, being shown here. So my point is not to just make a big highlight out of this. Obviously, this is really cool, but let's figure out how to actually set this up. Because when you log into Business Central, this doesn't come up. I'll show you what comes up. I go into customers, for example, customer list, which also has a Power BI fact box. And you see here, there are no enabled reports. Choose to select report to see a list of reports you can display. Uh, and if you haven't set anything up in Power BI, nothing will come up here. So you cannot set this up. So what you have to do is actually uh, set up Power BI right here. So actually you can go into Power BI um, by searching through here uh, into all apps, etc. But I just navigated to Power BI here by apppowerbi.com and I log in under my login and, uh, and here I have the apps. So right now I created one app, which was for the items. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and add another one for, um, for the customers. So I go in here, just go in all apps. And so business central. So you can, when I actually go and look up in Power BI for business central stuff, um, it gives me a bunch of apps here. So the idea is that these apps are actually connecting to the fact boxes. So Microsoft has set up all of the apps for the fact boxes. And all you have to do is kind of pick them into your account in Power BI. And then I'm going to show you how to enable it in uh, Business Central. So we go just here and see there's a customer list. That's the one I want to say, get it now. And it starts thinking and now I have to hold. <laughs> Okay, so now we actually have to put in the company name. And uh, the company name is, if I go into just Business Central right here, obviously you should know your company name, but it's right here up top. So I'm using Cronus USA comma Inc dot. So I have to use it exactly. Cronus USA comma Inc dot. Next. Um, and it identifies me because I'm already logged into Business Central. Uh, my login actually works for that. So it's working always on my login. So now it's installing the app. Uh, it's saying it could take a little while. I don't think it's gonna take that long. But in any case, if you're not familiar with Power BI, this is the Power BI workspace in the cloud uh, where you can actually install apps um, and you can create your own workspace and actually might get a little bit more into that. All right, so let's see uh, what happened. Um, so right now we have this, which is for the items. 
uh, but I want to get the next one. There we go. I just refreshed. Uh, that's the item list and that's the customer list. So right now I have this customer list thing and it's already connecting um, to the uh, data that's in Business Central. Let's see, this is customer list. Okay, that's great. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and connect it to Business Central. We go back here. Let's go to uh, customers. And, you know, you might think, wait, you know, this is a lot of work just to connect Power BI to it. It should just connect automatically. But the thing is that Power BI, you know, you can do so much with it. This is just the tip of the iceberg, what I'm doing right now. I'm just plugging in some fact box on the side. You can create your own uh, reports, uh, interactive business intelligence dashboards. Uh, and that is the whole power of it. Um, so let me just go ahead and do here. I'm in the customer list by this, uh, what I just did. And now this actually comes up. I have this report customer list. So if I say OK, uh, did I not enable it? Enabled. Okay. I might need to refresh or come back to it. Let's just see. Um, customers. Let's see if that did it. Ooh, it's being a little bit tricky. Let's see. Enable. Ah. There's a button up here that says enable. <laughs> I should have known this. I did this before. Short term memory is gone. Oh my God. All right. No, never mind. Hit OK. Now it comes. Uh, and now we have the customer Power BI up and running. Um, so basically, all you have to do is go in here, um, set up the, uh, the app for Microsoft. You just get it in the store. And uh, on your account, which is the same login as you log in into uh, Business Central. And then you're able to actually come into Power BI reports, select the report, and now you load it up. And now it works just like I did before. If I go to a different customer, you can see it's actually connecting. School of Very Fine Art is Alpine Ski House, you know, all good. So that's Power BI connecting to Business Central. Again, super cool. So easy, so nice. We're in the cloud. Everything connects together. Everything is fantastic. So I hope you enjoy this. If you did, thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Uh, until next time.